What's going on today, Bread Gang? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are seizing the moment, living the moment that you were in today and enjoying every second of it. We're up here at Exact Window Tinting, filming today, having a good time. I'm just bringing you guys along for the ride today. You can tell by the thumbnail, we have something that we are gonna go over. It's just something I wanna touch on today. Don't take any of it seriously. If it ends up getting dicey or if it ends up getting too opinionated, you can always click off the video, but I'm joking. None of this is serious, so please don't get butt hurt and get all in my comments. And if you do, I don't care, I'll just block you, it's okay. Because we're all about positivity on this channel. I do want to start off real quick, if you guys want merch, I have hoodies for sale and shirts for sale. sale. They are the black, let's get this bread. I do not have it on today. I've got the NC State with the duck boots on today. Yes sir, I love my duck boots. I'm going over the three things that I see Silverado owners do all the time that just really get on my nerves. And honestly, three things I think Silverado owners should not do to their trucks in general. So, if you guys are excited, stick around through the intro. I love the intro so much, it's it's so amazing. That's just literally when I watch the intro, I get pumped and I get so excited to film videos. And I love being in front of the camera, I almost embody like a different person when I'm in front of the camera for you guys. And it's, it's really exciting. So let's roll the intro. We're gonna run inside and see what Zach's got going on today up here at Exact Window Tinting. His link is in the description below. If y'all need anything in Atlanta window tint wise, you know where to hit him up. Instagram below, and let's jump into the video. gonna focus holy crap what's up guys so for those of you that are new to the channel we have had a little bit of a boost in the channel and I haven't really done an introduction in a while so my name is Alex I run the that wide bowtie YouTube and Instagram channel my girlfriend owns the Tahoe that you guys have seen 2017 Tahoe build on the channel I have the 2014 Silverado she has the 2017 Tahoe that we have on the channel now you shout out to her it's beautiful I can't wait to get that build started and actually we've already got it started so i have the playlist the tahoe build series playlist on the channel make sure to check that out so you guys can start from the beginning and go all the way up to current and get caught up on the build but today we're going to be jumping into five things i was going to do three but we're going to do five things all silverado or really all truck owners mistakes that they make with their builds now again these are not this is all personal opinion. This is, and I'm not poking fun at anybody specific. This is just stuff that I've done some research and noticed, and I hate when people do to their trucks. So we're gonna jump into the video, and we're gonna go do a little two minute restaurant review at the end of the video as well to the Chinese joint that's right next door. Quick idea, run across run across my, my, my mind here. If we get 250 likes, 250. 250. 250 likes on this video, we're gonna put 5% window tent on the front of the truck here. We've got 30, 35% on there right now. And that's 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 pretty dark already. I've got 5% here and five over 20 on the back and I can't see anything at night. So 5% on the front windshield, 250 likes. You guys have your challenge, go. Let's get it. So I think the first, I think the first thing we're gonna start with is, and this is something I see all the time, and I really don't like it, and I, I wonder why dealerships really think it looks good. Because I see it a lot on dealership trucks, especially with these newer ones, is the fender flares on the trucks. No, no, just, oh, no, don't do the fender flares. The fender flares on the truck, they're, they're really big, and they're really bulky, and they have like the, the, the rivets in it, and if you're, if you're gonna do the fender flares, you really have to get wide enough tires for them to stick out past the fender flares because the fender flares come out a good two or three inches. And I, I understand the purpose of the fender flares. It's to, to prevent this right here exactly is what it's supposed to prevent. But come on, man, it just, oh, it just, it pains me so much. When I see a brand new truck riding down the road, because I know they bought it that way too. They, they have that just, that, that, 45 year old man bought it, just bought it from the dealership, look to it, no, no. Number one, no fender flares, ever. Unless they come on the older body style Duramaxes, then I would say it's okay, but, cause like um, the round bodies or the cat eyes, if they come on those, then okay, I, I, I can deal with those. These big huge fender flares that they put on the new trucks are definitely a no-go. I kinda wanna take advantage of this chair that I'm sitting in for, for number two, but number two on the list, and this is something I see people doing again, I, I promise I'm not picking at anybody specific, is they start throwing in a bunch of random light bars all over the front of the truck. I absolutely just, I cannot stand. It looks so unstock, it looks so aftermarket that it's almost cringy. It just, people start throwing in, you know, 
they'll throw in their own custom brackets and light bars up here and they start throwing them. I've seen people, especially on Jeeps, they put them on the hood. Now up top isn't terrible. And again, even this is pushing it. But when people start putting them there and they start mounting them all on the bottom and they just, I just, that's such a pet peeve of mine is seeing people that just throw a bunch of random ass light bars everywhere. I can't stand when people do that. Now, uh, I can understand there's a lot of legitimate uses for light bars putting them on the bottom for for reverse lights is okay and even putting if even flush mount is okay and even when you're doing flush mount on the front I, I can I can see where that would be okay I've got a buddy with a forerunner he shout out to Wyman at work he's got him mounted on his you know on his forerunner flush mount in the front which isn't terrible but I just I don't like when people just start throwing light bars everywhere it just it takes away from the cleanness of the truck and again that's all personal opinion but I would say no for the random light bars Number three, number three on the list, match your colors. Don't do a bunch of different colors. Pick your color schemes. My girlfriend tells me all the time, less is more. Pick your color schemes very wisely. So something I see a lot of people do, and I'm a little guilty of it currently at the moment, is when you're doing all, trying to match up colors and have all the same colors, all these silvers match because it's all the same silver. The, the red spike lug nuts, and this is kind of mainly where I'm getting at, is when your reds don't match up. So like, to be completely honest, the red that's on my spike lug nuts here, this red's a little bit darker. It does match up 100% because the bullet antenna that I have is the exact same company, same color shade, everything. They're the exact same. But these do not match up 100% with those. Now you never see this color. This has is a little bit lighter red with a little sparkle, and this is a darker red. So that's something that I, I really don't like. I'm guilty of it, which is why I'm talking about it, but I, I try and, Hey, steer away from it if you can because I know when we redo these we're gonna do a bunch of red on these and that's why we're doing the same red powder coat with the red wheels just because I know that once you start getting into a bunch of different colors and they start having different shades nothing's gonna look good nothing's gonna look professional and I would I would really recommend do your homework get the exact shades or just stay away from trying to do everything the same color because I don't want you guys to end up having different colors and look funny and get made fun of the internet's brutal these days and I don't want you guys to get roasted in the comments Number four on the list today, we're coming down the list pretty quick. Number four is gonna be, and this is something I see, and this one's a, kind of controversial. I know a lot of people can't afford the most expensive stuff, so I'm gonna touch on this one very slightly, but I will touch on it, is when people buy the most expensive truck that they can, and then they buy the cheapest parts that they can for the truck. It doesn't match up very well. So I'll give you guys a couple examples of this like my truck in particular, and I was bad about it at one point too. I actually did the same thing, which is why I feel like I can speak on this, is you buy a $50,000 truck and you put a cheap lift kit on it, you put a cheap leveling kit on it, something that doesn't match up with the price of the truck. I just, I don't feel, I feel like if you're, if you're wanting to build something and you're wanting to do it right, spend the money on the good parts. Don't buy, you know, $10,000 wheels and put a set of $400 tires on it. You know what I mean? That just, it doesn't match up and that's, I feel like that's not the right way to go about these things. If you want to build something to make it nice, and of course all of you want to build something to make it nice, we all do because we put it on Instagram. We wouldn't want it to be nice and show it off to people if we didn't put it on Instagram. So I feel like buying some really expensive stuff and then matching it up with something cheap is just not the right way to go. And that's probably the most legitimate thing about this video. And I'm just kind of having fun with it today because we're hanging out at the shop is I would recommend don't buy, I, I would even rather buy a cheap truck and put nice stuff on it because at least the cheaper older trucks you can make nice again and put good paint on it. But just that was something I'd steer away from is the cheap and expensive matchup. Don't do that. And that brings us that brings us to number five. The number five, and this is probably the biggest mistake that all Silverado owners make, Chevy truck owners make when they're doing their build is they go eat at the Chinese restaurant next door. Me and the group of guys that work over here at Exact Window Tent, we're gonna go try out this Chinese joint next door. And I, it smells really good, which is why we're gonna do that, but it's probably gonna kill us later. So that's number five on the list. Don't eat the Chinese restaurant next door. We're gonna go have some fun, do a little two minute restaurant review for you guys. Stay tuned, I hope you guys enjoy. Focus, 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 there we go. All right, so you guys know how the two minute restaurant reviews go. We go in, we eat some food, I edit it to where it's two minutes, it's a great time. I'm heading over to Chow King with Cody, and one of the best parts, say hello. 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 One of the best parts about going to a Chinese buffet is the ridiculous stuff that they have at these buffets. I mean, sometimes they have tacos, pizza, chicken nuggets, uh, french fries, chicken wings. I mean, they got all kinds of crazy stuff. 
So I think we're gonna try the hibachi today. It's kind of like if you've ever had Genghis Grill, if you guys know what that is. If you don't, it's really amazing. You need to try it. They got something similar to that. So I think we're gonna try that today, but Chinese restaurant, you never know what to expect with a Chinese restaurant. So I immediately, first thoughts, walking out the door, I feel like that was a terrible idea, first of all. I mean, they're, the people that own this are never gonna see this video, so it doesn't matter. That's like, I don't feel like, I feel ugh. Like, you, you know that feeling, don't you, right? Just the ugh, that's what I feel like. But I think we've got pretty, pretty solid scores for the Chow King restaurant. It's, uh, it's, it's a Chinese restaurant. It can't get any better than a, a three, three and a half anyway. We'll, we'll do we'll do Cody first. What do you think? What do you think? Um, I'd say, I'd, I'd give it a hard three. Three? Solid yeah, three? I like solid that. Three. Okay, I'm thinking like two and a half, 2.7, somewhere around there. It's a Chinese restaurant. I mean, it wasn't, the hibachi was good. The rice was kind of hard. It just, it, it's a Chinese restaurant. It's not going to get any better than that. But uh, I didn't film a lot in there just because it's, it's a Chinese restaurant. I mean, there's not a lot to film, to be honest. It's that's just all it is. A few moments later. What are you? <laughs> I'm leaving that in there. I hope you know that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something fun to do while it's raining today. The Tahoe content is coming later on this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I miss the Silverado being on the channel a little bit, but you're you're gonna have a good combination of both. Again, if you need anything, exact window tinting is gonna be at the top of the description below. If you guys want merch, I have the t-shirts and the hoodies on the way so dm me and i will get you prices and shipping information other than that you guys know what it is we're always you know exploring always doing things always trying to live the moment if you guys like the channel hit the like and subscribe button i'll see you next time and as always let's get this break get the spread you're gonna focus on music <laughs> Thank you.